Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Today we are actually going to see how to configure Sulace to work along with the uh, software AG web methods integration server. Uh, it's pretty uh, a straightforward process uh, to actually have it configured and set up. Uh, so we'll quickly look at what are the steps needed to do it. And then we'll jump into how it is actually done. So first off, uh, what are the high level steps involved in uh, performing it? So we need to actually download the Solace jars. There are uh, three jars that needs to be downloaded. I'll, I'll be uh, elaborating more on that. Uh, we then need to actually place the Solace jars uh, in a location on the integration server. Uh, then we have to actually create a JNDA provider alias uh, on the integration server followed by creating a JMS connection alias again on the integration server. So, so the steps highlighted in blue are the ones that you have to do it on uh, software AG's uh, integration server. And finally, we need to create a connection factory on Solus. So where do we get the jars from? So the first two jar files, we need to actually download it from solace.com slash downloads. And the Solace JMS jar, we need to actually download it from Maven. Uh, you can actually go to the Maven repository path and actually download them. Where do we actually place the jar files? So at any installation of uh, your integration server, you would have a path of the integration server followed by what is the name of the instance, a lib folder, again jar and then custom within the custom folder you can place these three jar files and once you have placed the three jar files you then go ahead and uh, restart the integration server so that these jar files are picked up the next steps are actually to create a jnda provider alias create a jms alias and create a connection factor on solus so I'll uh, jump into the interface and show you how this is done. Okay, so we have the integration server. This is an integration server running on my laptop. And I have the Solace also installed and configured. Uh, so I've um, set up the Solace instance using my docker and uh, integration server is also running over here so uh, as I mentioned the next steps that are needed is to navigate to the settings go to messaging and we first of all create a um, so let's uh, jndi definition so let's create a jndi definition now uh, the supported jndi uh, messaging providers fortunately has Solace already in it. Therefore, we'll just pick up Solace as a uh, template. It fills out some information. It also mentions the uh, class that is going to be loaded. This class is one among, uh, among one of the JAR files that we have actually placed on the uh, custom libs folder. So let's give it a name. So we'll give it uh, Solace is in the i so let's call it solace is for now okay. the description of solace integration server it's solace now uh, the solace messaging format is the protocol that's used to connect to solace and uh, it has a host and port the uh, host and port uh, host would of course be a local host because it's running in the same uh, machine you would know where it is the port is as per the documentation uh, five files uh, and it can also change you could uh, get a different port based on how you have configured the solace instance but here since this is a default setup it is actually on running on uh, five files so we go here we put in uh, the host as local host say five five and uh, security principle is what credentials you use to connect to the Solus instance. Usually it is the default admin admin, and then you could say save. So here you have the Solus uh, instance over here. 
and uh, you can do a test lookup and it actually uh, goes and looks up the instance now uh, this is a very uh, you know lightweight means of uh, connecting to it it really doesn't give a full fledged lookup because listing is not supported and let's say we do a solace uh, test to just make sure things are working fine now if you don't have the jar files loaded it would actually deal with another error saying that class not found uh, as the exception but here since the class is there it's actually loading it up properly now we will return back to the jms settings let's go to jms settings let's try to create the uh, jms alias the jms alias is needed because when you will connect from your flow service this is what you will actually be uh, mentioning over there uh, in the next video we'll have a look at how that is uh, done how to use the jms alias in the integration servers uh, flow service so let's go ahead and create a jms alias so let's say solace is jms what a great name but uh, this should suffice let's say we don't want any transactions um, we'll go ahead and pick the uh, jndi as the option for looking up the connection uh, in the jndi aliases your jndi would have been listed uh, connection factory uh, uh, connection factory lookup name this is the connection factory name that we would have to give a, which is referenced in solace so let's say we we'll give it uh, uh, connection factory solace uh, let's say yes see ya because this is the name we'll have to give in uh, solace after this and pretty much everything else is default you let's say save uh, and your solace size jms is created let's say if we try to enable it of course it wouldn't work now this is because this connection factory name is not found in solace so let's hop on into solace come over to so this is the main panel we come over to jms jndi in the connection factories we can see if the connection if the connection factory is defined if not let's go ahead and create it uh, solace jms was not the name so let's go and see what was the name again the name of the connection factories cf solace okay so let's go back on to here create the connection factory cf okay. and say create so by this the connection factory is created on solace and you'll say save hop back onto your integration server turn back to your jms settings let's try to enable it once more and this time as you can see it is enabled so now you have your jms definition created and all you have to do is reference this jms alias in your uh, flow service so in the next video we'll have a look at how the uh, jms uh, alias is actually pointed in your flow service and how we can publish messages onto uh, uh, queues or topics on solace so hope you like the video if you have any other questions or any clarification please uh, uh, do reach out on the comments uh, and let me know thank you